Welcome back to Metal Album Fights. The last time was so much fun. I had a lot of controversy in the comments because some of the picks I made in this episode is probably going to be the same. So strap yourselves in for some controversial opinions here. We're going to be pitting albums against each other just like the first one, but we're doing the right hand side. So, you know, without further ado, you know, let's get straight into it. Hopefully you don't shit yourselves with excitement. So let's get into it with the first pick. Now straight away, you know, I'm not the be all end all knowledge of metal because I don't know what that fucking album is. There's two albums here and I, I know one because it's one of my favorite albums. So I'm going to have to pick that, Brave Murder Day by Catatonia. Love this Death Doom album. The other one, don't know who it is. So tell me in the comments below who this album is so I can check it out because I checked out the ones last time. Bethlehem was so fucking weird. But yeah, the <laughs> Brave Murder Day is winning this one by default because... It's fucking awesome. Next up, we've got Mastodon with Leviathan. We've got Dragon Force with Inhuman Rampage, I think. The one with Through the Fire and Flames on. Now, this is an easy one. This is an easy one. It is Mastodon with Leviathan. It's just, it's just a better album. It's a better album. I don't have to say anything else. It's a better album. I like Dragon Force. The older Dragon Force. I love Valley of the Dam. I love uh, Fireball 1, which I forgot. Sonic Firestorm, is it? Those two albums are great. Everything after that, too just fast, too just like, look at me, I can do all this. It's like, ah, there's no soul in it. There's soul in Valley of the Damned. Disciples of Babylon's a fantastic song. Then it went downhill, so yeah, Mastodon has been great from the beginning, still great. Mastodon takes the cake. Next one, we have a stupid one, because these are two of my favorite albums of all time. We have Burzum with Philosophum and Bathory with Under the Sign of the Black Mark. This is a hard one. I love both these albums. Burzum's is my favorite album. It's my favorite album by Burzum. Bathory's one is my second favorite album. Almost top, but it's still a fucking 10. I mean, Elizabeth Bathory. Come on, come on. Amazing. I... I don't know what to pick. I don't know what to pick. Both these albums are flawless. If, if you had them both in front of me, I said pick one. Mm. I'd pick Burzum. So, Burzum's winning this one. If, shh, shh, don't get your panties in a twist. If it was Baffrey's Bloodfire Death, which is my favourite one, Baffrey would win because Baffrey, you know, I think is better overall. But, I love Philosophum. It's, it's the one, it's the album that got me into Black Metal. The album that got me into black metal, so it's gonna win. But you know, Bathory's. This is a hard one. Come on, give me some, give me some credit. This is a hard one. Let's move on before we trigger everyone. Next up, we got Celtic Frost, the classic, and then we got High on Fire, another classic. Um, I like doom metal. I love Stoner Doom, so this is right up my alley. But Celtic Frost to Megatherion is. Phenomenal. So I'm gonna have to give Celtic Frost on this one, even though I love, you know, even though I love High on Fire as well, because Sleep's one of my favorite bands, so Matt Pike's a legend. But yeah, we're giving it to Celtic Frost. The next up, we got Massacre, great album, and then some Asian chick who's dead. I don't. What's this album? Is this Bullet for My Valentine or something? Or Bring Me the Horizon? It seems like that kind of album. Probably just triggered everyone because it's probably like <laughs> some famous album, but. Don't know this one, so Massacre, it's gotta be, because it's the one that I know, and it's still a good album, so yeah, no problems here, Massacre's winning. Next one, bit of a harder one, we got Obituary's Cause of Death. I know, I just talked about Obituary in a previous video, and you know, if you've seen that video, that's my favourite album by them. And we got Solstafar, I can never say the name, Solstafar, Sol 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 Sausages, both fantastic albums, but you know, Obituary, I love death metal. Obituary's best album is Cause of Death. It's one of the best death metal albums of all time. It's got to win. It's got to win. Chopped in. <laughs> How could you not like that? How could you not like that? Oh boy. I was just talking about it. Bloodfire Death by Bathory versus Candlemass's best album, Epicus Doomicus Metallicus. A classic in the genre. I love Doom. Um, But I'm going to have to give it to Bloodfire Death because... It is my favorite. 
it is my favourite Bathory album, and you know, I already gave it to Burzum before, I've got to give some love to Bathory, so Bathory is winning this one. Next up, we got The Sound of Perseverance by Death, and then, I can never say the name of this one, it's French, Amazos is kind of like Alceste, this band, and I love it, I love the sound of this fucking album, but Sound of Perseverance is the Sound of Perseverance, and you know, the flesh and the power it holds, come on, all these amazing guitar solos, Chuck's last album, it's got to go to Sound of Perseverance, even though I do love the Amazors album. Not saying that right, but I don't care. Great fucking albums right here, but Death takes the biscuit. Alright, so this one's not even fair. We have Opeth Still Life versus Alice in Chains Dirt. Now, I love Alice in Chains Dirt. You know, it's one of the best, no, it is the best grunge album. It is the best grunge album, because Lane Staley is a magnificent vocalist. But he's against my favourite album. And why is my favourite album on this list? Because <laughs> then it just ruins the fun. Um, <clears throat> but it's not its not the destination, it's the journey along the way. That's the fun part. So Still Life's winning this, you know? Still Life is going to win this because it, it's, it's my favourite album. So it's got to win. Mikel Ackerfeld is a fucking genius, but Dirt's great as well, so that that was a... It wasn't a hard one, that was an easy one. <laughs> now, this is a hard one. Alters of Madness, one of Morbid Angel's best albums, versus Ulva with the Burger Durga Durga album, which is one of the best Ulva albums. Atmospheric as hell, and I love myself some atmospheric black metal. So, now I gotta choose. Classic death metal, classic black metal. What's it gonna be? But this, oh, I gotta go with Ulva. I gotta go with Ulva with the Burger Durga Durga album. Yeah, I gotta go with Ulva for this one. It's just, it's the sound that appeals to me the most. It's the sound that appeals to me the most, so it's gotta win. Even though Alters of Madness is fucking flawless. Next up we got a woman doing this. I don't know who this is. Is this like in this moment or something? I don't know. I don't know this band. Don't know this band, but it's against the mantle, which is fucking flawless. Amazing atmospheric black metal, and you know what I was just talking about? The mantle's gonna win by default. So again, with these ones I don't know, tell me in the comments because I'm on a quest for metal. I want a quest for more metal. And then listen to these albums because they might be great. So yeah, the mantle wins this one. Next up, a harder one, Dope Throne. Electric Wizard, fucking awesome Stone of Dune album, one of the best. Versus Slaughter of the Soul by At the Gates. Probably my favourite melodic death metal band. So this one's hard, because I love both these albums, but I gotta give the edge to Slaughter of the Soul for this one. I just love the furious melodies in it, and I've heard this live, and it's fucking intense. At the Gates are amazing live, one of the best bands. Oh, that show was fucking good. Um, anyway. Slot of the Soul, amazing album, one of the best from the Gothenburg scene, gotta win. We have a bit of ooh ah 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 ass, coming at your ass, Dro <laughs> dropping plates on your ass. That's the reason it's not winning, Ulva's winning this one because it's my favourite Ulva album. Just the furious shrieking in this album is intense as hell. I think it's better than the Burger Durga Durga one. It's better than the Burger Durga 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 one. This album is just, it feels like you're that wolf howling at the moon when you're listening to this. Because the shrieks are intense. The sickness is fun. It's overrated as fuck, though. I prefer Belief. I prefer 10,000 Fists. I prefer Indestructible. I prefer Asylum. Then it would be the sickness, you know? So now you don't have to watch it, because I just told you. Yeah, it's alright. It's just... It, it has some kind of mediocre songs on. Dropping plates. The fuck is that? Anyway, Ulva's easily winning this one. Speaking of easily winning, we have Black Sabbath's Volume 4 versus Mayhem's, you know... Classic, De Mysterious Don Satanus. It is mayhem. I know I've shat on Black Sabbath the entire time on this list, but they've, they've never been giving me the fucking Dio ones. What's going on? You know I like those ones the best. Um, Volume 4 is fine. It's alright. It's not my favourite. Mayhem's is one of my favourite albums. So, the shrieks are just amazing. The history about it is amazing. Fucking everything about this album is just amazing. And... Yeah, it's amazing. Oh, 
Oh, we got ISIS, not the terrorist group, but the band, which is a really fun band. I actually enjoy them. But they're against Black Sabbath again. The Dio era, heaven and hell. Now I can give some love to Black Sabbath because this album's winning. I love this album to bits. It's the, the best Black Sabbath album, easily. Not even a fucking contest. It's the best Black Sabbath album. The vocals are just good <laughs> compared to the rest. And just the musicianship, just everything in this album is just fantastic. No, I love this album. I love this album. I love Dio. Has to fucking win. Again, we got an album that I don't know. The top one. Who the fuck is that? I don't know. Looks emo. So, I'm not going to pick it. I'm going to pick Leviathan with the just the depressing black metal craziness of this album is just amazing it's spooky as shit and it's winning next up we got Alice in Chains versus Possessed Seven Churches and grunge is cool this album's cool but Seven Churches has to win you know Possessed is amazing one of the pioneers of death metal I've seen them live still great it's awesome that he's rocking in the wheelchair it's awesome you know, Possessed easily wins this one. Grunge is fine. It's not my favourite. But Death Metal. Tippity tippity top of the iceberg. Next up we got Caius versus Papa Roach. This one is a star. Not really a big fan of either of these bands to be honest. But I've seen Papa Roach live like four times. They put on a good show. They're quite fun. And it's a childhood band, you know, infest. It's probably going to win. Just because nostalgia, really. So, Nostalgia wins on this one. Next up, Six Feet Under versus Forgotten Tomb. This is a hard one. Not too sure with this one. You know, Six Feet Under's kind of bit gone downhill, shall we say. Gone downhill, not quite as good as uh, they used to be. But this album's great. It's a great album by them. The rest of the album's eh. Forgotten Tomb's fantastic as well, so I'm probably going to give it to them. Forgotten Tomb this one um just because i'm not the biggest six feet under fan you know how a corpse better so we got opeth ghost reveries and we got metallica ride the lightning so ghost reveries got grand conjuration on reverie harlequin forest ghost of perdition ride the lightning is the best metallica album so this one's <clears throat> opeth's my favorite band so ideally I'd pick that. I was trying to think logically, like, oh, which one should I pick because of certain variables, but I should just go by gut feeling. What's my favorite? Ghost Reveries. My favorite is Ghost Reveries. It's my favorite band, you know? So of course it's gonna fucking win. I mean, duh. But Ride the Lightning is, it would have won. If you put Ride the Lightning against all the other ones that I mentioned, it probably would have won. It's just the fact that it's against Opeth. It's not gonna win. Not even a chance in hell it's going to win. Unless it's against, like, Sorceress, Heritage. Then it'll win, but not the fucking Death Growl ones. No way in hell. Next up, we got Blizzard Beast by Immortal and Kill Em All by Metallica. Now, I love both these albums as well, and the cover arts for Immortal albums are just fantastic. But on this occasion, I will give it to Metallica. Because this is one of the better Metallica albums. It's the thrashiest one. So they sounded the most raw on this one. All the songs are killer. And Blizzard Beast is fantastic as well. But it's not my favourite Immortal album. At the Heart of Winter is my favourite Immortal album. Um, so is the new one. Northern Chaos Gods. God damn. But. Kill Them All is fucking fantastic. Some people don't like it. But some people kiss my ass. Mutter. We got Mutter versus Primordial. Amazing albums. Both of them. I think... Oh, this is a hard one. Because Mutter's like a... One of my favourite... Ram no, it is my favourite Ramstein album, I think. Yeah. It is my favourite Ramstein album. <sighs> but this Primordial album is just... It's, it's better to listen to now. So I'm picking Primordial on this one. Just because... It's the sound I'll go to. Industrial's fun. You know, it's a fun sound. It's a fun band for now. But... I wouldn't just put it on and listen to it. I put Primordial on and listen to them. So, by that reasoning, Primordial wins. So next up we got Behemoth the Satanist versus Loaves. I let it in and it took everything. Um, you got Metalcore versus like Black and Death Metal. You got a um, Alright album versus 
the best album of the 20th, 21st century. Um, I'm going to pick The Satanist on this one. I've got the shirt for it. They're one of my favourite bands. It's one of my favourite albums of all time. I love Nurgle. He's a legend. It's It's got to fucking win. It's got to fucking win. Behemoth's just... Next up, we got the Black Album versus Nails. Two really cool albums here. But one... Oh, this is hard. Why couldn't it be Ride the Lightning versus Nails? You know? Ah. Oh. But Black Album's still fine. Still fine. Mm, I think I will give it to the Black Album. Nails is, is an acquired taste. I haven't quite built the taste yet. That whole frantic, like, rah, 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 it's not my sound yet. Might get there. Might get there, but at the current moment in time, Black Album would win this one. Because it is a bit catchier, you know? Enter Sandman and stuff. Pfft. Pains me to say that. I, I want Ride the Lightning against Nail so I can feel better winning. <laughs> I don't feel good when Black Album wins anything, so... Oh, well, it is winning against Nail, so... What are you gonna fucking do? Next up, Slipknot's first album, one of the best. And then an Agalog album, which I've completely forgotten the name of. But it's it's got the great Lake Nidstag on, which is fucking amazing. I'm gonna go with Agalog. It's atmospheric black metal, what are you gonna do? It's my favourite sound. Slipknot's great, this album's great. But it's not Agalog. Agalog's just beautiful. Beautiful. Beautifully bleak. Next up we've got The Great Call Distance by Catatonia. And then some kid getting hanged or something. What? I don't know who that is. Probably someone famous again, but tell me in the comments. So by default, Catatonia for this one. Next up, King Diamond with Abigail versus Immolation. Now, both these albums are fucking awesome. I've really been getting into Immolation lately as well. I think they're a little bit better than Incantation, but that's a video for another day. Um, King Diamond's fucking classic album, Abigail. So this is this is hard. This is hard. I mean, I love both. I really do. But I'm gonna give it to King Diamond on this one. It is the classic album. And Immolation, I've been getting into recently, so I'm not like super, super into all their albums. My favourite album would be um, the one which I've completely forgotten with the angels on and the demons. Is it the debut? I think it's the debut. That one's fucking awesome. If it was against that, eh, that'd be harder. But King Diamond's King Diamond, so gotta fucking win. Next up, Killing Joke versus Transylvanian Hunger. So Transylvanian Hunger's winning this one. <laughs> I love Transylvanian Hunger. It's one of my favourite black metal albums. The best vocals. Dark Thrones is fucking legends. Killing Joke, not my cup of tea. That's all I'm gonna say. Not my cup of tea. Not even metal. Why is it here? Next up, we got Halloween versus Judas Priest. Now, this is a hard one, but I think it comes down to the albums they chose. Because it's not my favourite Halloween album. But the Judas Priest album's fucking fantastic. Stained Class is a masterpiece. The Halloween one's really good. But it's not Keeper of the Seven Keys, part one or two. So, Stained Class is gonna win this one. Because the album itself, it just, it's just, it's better. It's better. So the best has to fucking win. Next up we got Deftones, I think, versus Ghost. I'm not a big fan of Deftones. The whole rocky stuff doesn't do much for me. Ghost is kind of rocky as well, but Ghost is rocky in a fun way. You know, they're not taking themselves too seriously. Like dancing in the moonlight, dance macabre and stuff. It's cheesy, it's fun, it's kind of blue oystery cult. Ghost. Ghost is winning this one. Yeah, the sound of Ghost is. I love the theatrics of it as well. Dressing up. The very last band I saw live was Ghost, before the Corona lockdown, and it was fantastic. There was fucking saxophone solos, like there was different ghoul members. I don't know what they're called, and then they were doing like solos on either end of the stage. It was fun. Really enjoyed it. So Ghost is, is easily going to win this one. Next up, Number of the Beast versus Rage Against the Machine. Number of the Beast. That's an easy one for me. Number of the fucking beast. Rage is fine, but again, this kind of punky inspired rock music doesn't do much for me. Deftones, Rage, none of that, none of those bands do much for me. People were shouting in the comments last time about Faith No More. They're fine, but they're kind of rocky as well. They don't do much for me either. None of these bands do anything for me. Um, Foo Fighters is probably the best out of all of them, to be honest. It's probably the, the better one out of every other fucking rock band. Like, pile them all together and throw them in a garbage heap. Crush them all. 
but Foo Fighters is fine, you know. One of us say you're not like the others. It's fine, it's catchy, it's radio rock, what are you going to do? The others try to too serious. Rage is too serious. I don't like it. Fuck it. Fuck them. Burn them. Finally, we come to the last pick. Godflesh versus Melvin's. Who fucking cares? Like, I don't like either of these. <laughs> if I was going to pick, it would be Godflesh, I guess. But I don't really want to listen to either. They can both join the rock bands and the garbage pyre fire. So yeah, I guess I'll just go with Godflesh for this one because I'm not a big fan of either. So, end on a sour note. But we had some good albums along the way. We had Number of the Beast, Stained Class. All these good metal albums. So, that was fun. Let me know in the comments below what you would pick. What's your favourite album from each one? Uh, what did you get triggered by? Did you hate some of my picks? Are you writing an angry comment right now about Faith No More or any of the rock bands I mentioned? You can hate death tones. I bet you I'm going to see a comment like, Oh, you shit on fucking Aussie era Black Sabbath. But you like Ghost. Fuck is wrong with you. Opinions are like assholes. Everyone has them, but you don't need to share them. Unless you have a YouTube channel, in which case you can. So we'll see you on the final one where we declare a winner. Which you probably all know where it's going to be already. But it'll be fun to fight the albums against each other to get to that point. So until then, we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.